Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Is It Worth It? In this video we will be taking a look at the Gemstone Spare in Fishing Simulator. Like every other spare in the game, the Gemstone Spare can be bought from Finn's Supply Shop. The Gemstone Spare is a gem exclusive spare. You can buy this spare for 7000 gems. This is roughly the equivalent of 2084 Robux. The Gemstone Spare has 280 damage, which isn't a that bad, but also isn't that good. It is really in the medium damage category. But the thing that attracts me the most to this spare in particular is its specialty. 25% chance for 2 gems every hit. So I'm guessing that when you own the spare, your gems will actually get up pretty quickly without you even noticing. So 25% for some gems isn't that bad. Of course because the damage is so low, you won't be one-shotting everything. So every creature that you find has a higher chance to at least trigger the specialty at least once. Not even to mention that it probably also works on Moby, which will be probably a pretty good gem farm. Unfortunately, it seems like I don't have enough gems. So I'm gonna be be right back and farm some sunken treasures. <laughs> Oh my god, that farming took forever, but I am so happy that I got all these gems. Unbelievable. Wow. So now that we have enough gems, let's buy the gemstone spear, equip it, and let's see what it actually does. And here we have the spear in all its glory. And one thing that you notice about the spear is that it actually has a really cool particle effect at the end of the spear. And when you throw it, the particle creates a pretty nice trail. I have no idea if it was intended to make this particle only appear when you throw it, but right now it is pretty cool. Even when you run around, you will leave around a cool trail. This is absolutely amazing. But of course, the looks of a spear doesn't really matter. It's all about the effects. So let's hop on a boat and find some sharks to test it on. So we did find some orcas and while they technically aren't sharks, we can still test out the spear on them. So let's throw it. And we didn't get the gems, but that's okay because it's only a 25% chance. So let's see how long it takes before we get gems and how it actually looks like. And we got two gems. Hoppa. Oh, that's also, and we got another two gems. So one thing to note, 25% is technically one every four hits. Well, it is still a percentage. So don't get mad when you don't get a lot of gems, even though you're hit it a lot. Sometimes you won't get gems for 20 hits. And then you might get gems 10 times in a row. That is just how luck based gems work. After of spending a couple of hours hunting with the spear, I do gotta say that I quite like it. It is quite a different change for me to go from the really OP trident to a weapon with a lot lower damage. But the feeling when you get a gem on a hit is super cool. While it is not as good as it sounds on paper because it is so heavy a luck based, it is still quite a fun spare to use. However, I would not use this as your main source of gems. I would recommend to just use this for fun or to just keep it with you when you're doing other gem farming methods. So is it worth it? What I recommend you do is that you don't buy the spare using Robux. I would just naturally grind the 7k gems 
and then Birdie's Pear. I give this item a 8.5 out of 10. It is a pretty nice item and I suggest you picking it up. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord in the link in the description. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Thank you.